Greetings and welcome to the Astronomy Picture of the Day podcast. Today's picture for June 16th of 2024 is titled Animation Black Hole Destroys Star. So what do we see here? Well, here we see a short video, runs about a minute, and as we watch it, we will see a black hole destroying a star as shown in this animation. Now, when we start out here, we see first the star approaching the black hole, and it quickly is ripped apart by the immense forces. Now, how does it do that? Well, it's what we call a differential gravitational force. It's the difference in the gravity on one side of the star versus another. It's the same kind of thing that causes tides here on Earth. Our moon pulls more strongly on the side of Earth closer to the moon than it does on the side farther away. And that allows the water to flow in response to that gravitational force. When it is strong enough and there is a big enough difference between the gravitational force on the near side and the far side of an object, then it can actually tear it apart. And that's what we see here at the beginning. We're seeing that star being torn apart and all that material now flowing around the black hole is forming into an accretion disk around the black hole. So let's start the video over right now and look at it carefully. And as we see the star rips apart and we see all of the gases of the tar star spread apart and they then merge into an accretion disk around the black hole and we can see the material swirling around the black hole with jets of material going out perpendicular to that accretion disk. So this is all material from the star that got torn apart. Then we look from a position in the accretion disk and we're looking toward the event horizon of the black hole. We can see the distortion of this material, including being able to see the other side of the accretion disk because of the immense distortion of space and time around the black hole itself. Then as we look up, we can see the jet of material being expelled out at very high speeds, approaching a good fraction of the speed of light. So again, we're seeing a, a, a simulation showing what would happen based on our understanding of gravity if a star came too close to a black hole. Now it really has to come too close. If it stays far enough away, it will just orbit. And there are many stars that orbit around black holes within our galaxy, including our own sun. There is a massive black hole at the center of our galaxy and our sun orbits around it. Of course, we are well away from the center, but even close to the center, there are many stars that orbit around. However, if its orbit takes it too close, those differential forces can actually rip the star apart, shredding it and in a way feeding the black hole, causing it to become very active and give off large amounts of energy. And this relates to some of the very energetic objects in the early history of the universe that we call quasars. They were essentially very supermassive black holes that were constantly taking in material like this and heating it up to very high temperatures, converting a decent fraction of that mass into energy, which gave off the immense amount of energy from these quasars out at the edge of our universe. Now, the, the conditions that cause these are no longer present in our galaxy and quasars are no longer seen, but the remnants of them in these black holes are still left behind at the centers of most galaxies. So that was our picture of the day for June 16th of 2024. It was titled Animation Black Hole Destroys Star. We'll be back again tomorrow for the next picture previewed to be Big Squid. So we'll see what that is about tomorrow. And until then, have a great day everyone, and I will see you in class.